Hello friends and welcome to edupediaworld.com Your destination to online education So friends, today we are going to start with the second including section of introduction to mixtures and their separation with solid and liquid mixture separation So today we will be covering with the evaporation method, distillation method, filtration method, sedimentation and decantation method so let's understand all these methods one by one. Friends, when we are going to separate solid from the liquid mixtures, we have four kind of common methods. First is evaporation. Second is distillation. Third is filtration. And fourth is sedimentation and decantation. Friends, very point to be noted that these first two methods are used when the mixture is homogeneous mixture. And the last two methods are used when we have heterogeneous mixture. So what do you understand by homogeneous mixture when the solid and liquid are completely soluble and heterogeneous vice versa where the solid and liquid are we can't say insoluble but yes after some time we can get a good thin line of separations of the solid and liquid that all the particles are not we can say equally soluble evenly you can say that right so let's understand one by one all the methods first is evaporation Evaporation is basically nothing but where liquid converts itself into the gaseous state. So when we talk about the method, when the mixture is homogeneous of solid and liquid, how will we separate? We will separate by the evaporation where we heat the mixture and the liquid get evaporated into the vapor state. So we left behind all the pure solid. For example, let's take salt solution, right, which is prepared by common salt and water. Let me take here, I take a small beaker where we have the salt solution. Now what will I do is, I'll heat from here by the heating flask. Now what will happen with the solution? All the liquid start converting itself into the vapor states right and will be left behind with all the salt we can say the pure solid component right so friends what is the advantage of this method advantage it is easy to use second it is not costly and what is the disadvantage the very important disadvantage of this method is we get only one component, right? Now friends, what if we want all components of the mixture separately? Like we want, let's take an example of the salt solution. What if we, I want the salt and the liquid, the water part also? I don't want to waste that water. So what method I have to use now? Yes, there is a one more method which overcomes the evaporation method is the distillation method. Here, the liquid and the solid, both the components are taken out separately. Here, liquid get the distilled water. We call it distillate water. And here, we get all the pure salt. So, what is the distillation method? Distillation method is a process of converting liquid into vapor states. Let's write down liquid converts itself into the vapor states. Now vapor state is again converted into liquid state. Apart we have all the solid component extracted. We get plus we get the liquid part also. How it works? Let's see. I'll give you a wonder. This is a flask of impure 
solution. Here we have burner which is used to heat this flask. We have here a small opening of one test tube covered with cooling jacket where all the condensed liquid is given out in a one beaker. We call this beaker as a receiver. This is a cooling jacket which will cool out all the water vapors and from here we will get all the water out and the water in. right? This flask is called distilling flask. Here we keep the thermometer. We will check all the temperatures so that we will un we'll understand when the liquid get started into the vapor states. This is the thermometer we have in this distilled flask. So now what happens in this experiment? When the mixture are called solutions, the condensed vapor is called the distillate. If I used to separate the salt solution, what will happen is all the impure solution, let's take salt solution, is being heated. Here all the water start converting itself into the vapor states. From here all the vapor get converted and goes down from the path of the cooling jacket. Again the vapor start changes into liquid state and all the liquid get collected into the receiver. So this water is now called distillate water which is a very pure water. Right? So this is a very important and uh, very advantageous method where we can get both the components of the mixture. Unlike we have the evaporation method where we can get only one component. And distillation method is actually used when we have a homogeneous mixtures where the separation is quite difficult. Now let's come up with the third method which is filtration. First, filtration is done with the heterogeneous mixtures. Right? That is, it is the method used when the solid is insoluble in the liquid and thus form a heterogeneous mixture. As the component of such mixtures are separated by passing it through a filter and as the solid is retained while the liquid passes through the filter paper. Filter paper is kind of a, like cone. This is a filtrating funnel where we keep like the filter paper like this. So if you take the example of again Let's take an example of a water with, which is contaminated with the sand or some dust materials, some straws, clays, paper, pits, paper, everything. So what will we do is we'll use this filter in a beaker which can hold this flask, filtering flask, will fill the mixture from here. This beaker is containing the contaminated water. We can also call it a mixture. Here it's a filter paper and here we get all the pure water which we call as filtrate. Right? And here what is left behind we call as residue. So as a mixture of insoluble solid and the liquid is poured out on the cone of the filter paper fixed in the funnel with the help of glass rod 
or a beaker containing the contaminated water. So liquid passed through the filter paper and collected drop by drop in the vessel below. We call it filter 8. And insoluble solids is retained on the filter paper. We call it residue. So this is a very common and very easy experiment and the method which is used to separate all the heterogeneous mixtures containing solid and liquid. It can also be used to separate barium sulfate from water and silver chloride from water. So what is the industrial use of this filtration? Yes, in industry also it is used in the last scale where the filter paper is of canvas. We call them canvas filters. So in the case of particles of insoluble solid which are coarse, filtration may be done through glass, wool or cotton wool plugged into the funnel also. So now friends, let's come with the last method. So friends, let's understand the last method of separation of solid liquid mixture that is sedimentation and decantation. Friends, before defining these terms, let's understand it by a small example. We will take a small beaker in which I fill some heterogeneous mixture in it. Mixture. Take some chalk powder in this and water. Keep undisturbed for an hour and so. Undisturbed for an hour and so. After an hour, you'll see some difference between the initial beaker. You'll see it's the chalk powder is being settled down at the bottom of the beaker. This is a chalk powder which has been settled down at the bottom of the beaker and the water is being undisturbed and cleared out. This is a clear water. The clear water which has been cleared out, left standing, we call this as supernatant. And the chalk powder which has been settled down at the bottom of the beaker, we call it sediment. So the whole process we call is sedimentation. The other method which is just related to the sedimentation process is decantation. Here the separated beaker that is the sediment and the supernatant is being separated carefully. That is the supernatant has is being taken very carefully that is pour out carefully into the other the beaker. This process is called decantation. Now let's define these terms. The sedimentation which is a process that is the process of settling down of the heavier insoluble particles from mixture is called sedimentation and decantation is also said to be process transferring the clear liquid without disturbing the sediments is called as decantation. Now friends, we have understood all these four methods of solid liquid mixture separation. Now let's just conclude all these methods one by one. Where the evaporation is, this method is used when one of the component is soluble solid and liquid form a homogeneous solution, for example salt solution. We have the other the method called distillation and this process of 
converting of liquid into vapors by heating and condensing vapor back into the liquid state. For example, iodine in the chloroform. The third we learned is filtration, where this method is used when the solid is insoluble in liquid and forms the heterogeneous mixture, which can be filtered out by the filter papers. And the last is sedimentation and decantation, where this method is used to separate the heterogeneous mixture containing insoluble solid in the liquid. For example, you can take water contaminated with the sand and mud also. And the decantation where we clear the liquid or you can say the clear liquid is poured out carefully leaving the sediment undisturbed. So this method or the process is called decantation. So here I end up with the session and giving you this very small activity where you have to distinguish between the evaporation and distillation. Second, the sedimentation and decantation. Thank you friends for the cooperation. In the next topic or in the next session, we'll be learning methods of separation of liquid-liquid mixtures. Thank you.